So in this video, we're going to discuss the big O of the subset sum problem. So you're all very familiar with the subset sum problem. Now, just as a reminder, it's basically given a set, given an S of some numbers. In a target, um, the problem is to find a subset of S uh, such that its sum is as big as possible, but still less than or equal to the target. Okay, and if you remember the solution, the solution basically involves generating all the possible subsets in the worst case, and that is what we're concerned about. Right? So the, the performance of the solution then is proportional to the number of possible subsets. In other words, the subset sum, the algorithm, uh, the big O, really has to do with how fast the number of possible subsets grow as the number of items in S grows. Okay, so you have seen this before. This shows, you know, on the first column, uh, what might be in S, and then on the second column, the, all the possible subsets for a given S. And so, um, so take a look at this, think about it for a bit, and then try to figure out what kind of function uh, the, the number of subsets is in terms of the number of items in S. So if you look at this, um, the way that it goes is when there's nothing in S, there's one subset. When there's one item in S, there are two subsets, two items, four subsets, three items, eight subsets. So you can kind of see the uh, number of subsets grows really fast. And so I kind of plot it out. Uh, well, I wrote down the numbers. The size of S is 0, 1, 2, 3, right? And the number of subsets is 1, 2, 4, 8. And if you're trying to find the function that expresses this number in terms of this number, well, it's the 2 to the nth power num uh, uh, function. Okay. So the number of subsets is then, you know, 2 to the size, 2 to the size of S, or O of 2 to the nth power. Yeah, or it's, it has a name, it's called an exponential growth. And when you hear the word exponential, it means it's growing really, really, really fast. All right, hopefully this makes sense. And um, again, that's, uh, that's just in theory on paper. That's, uh, that's what we think it is. Um, you're encouraged to try to measure the performance of your subset sum solutions. Uh, the only thing that I would say is, you know, try try not to make S too big, and as, because as you can see, it, you probably will run out of memory very fast. Although uh, it's kind of fun to find out when you run out of uh, memory and you know things um, start to break. Anyway, and if you do that, plot out the 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 time it takes for the function to complete versus the size of S as you know, um, we've done before, and um, hopefully it, uh, it, the graph looks like something that is an exponential function.